What's going on everybody? In this video I'm going to talk about each character's corner throw loop in Street Fighter 6 Season 1. A throw loop means that after throwing someone, you can throw them again without them being able to interrupt your second throw with wake up buttons. Almost every character in this game has a meterless throw loop, except for a handful amount of characters. Some characters throw loops are better than others, because they have setups that lead to a throw that is safe versus a wake up backdash. Characters with a fast backdash often do a wake up backdash to punish throws. However, with these setups, your second throw is going to be safe against backdash. If Jamie wants to lead into an uninterruptible command grab, he will need to walk forward instead of forward dash. Zangief needs to do his down forward throw, the spine buster, for this setup. He can also do an uninterruptible SPD after this setup. If the opponent does do a backdash, then I recommend delay teching because if they try to punish you, you will block it, and if they try to back throw, then you will tech it. So if you're the one on defense, then I don't recommend backdashing against these characters because of these setups. I recommend forward jumping or delay teching on wake up instead. By the way, these characters right here do not have a fast backdash, so they cannot punish your throw if your throw is timed decently, even without a setup. Here's every other character with a regular throw loop. Most of them have to time it manually. Menno can also lead into an uninterruptible command grab. What about characters without meterless throw loops? Marisa can forward dash, which makes her only plus one. This means that you can interrupt her second throw with a wake up 4 frame attack. The only main way she can punish you for this is by counter hitting you with her crouching light punch, which doesn't lead into anything scary at all. Alternatively though, she can spend meter for a drive rush to get a strong throw loop. Lily and Guile need to use their drive rush for their throw loop. However, they are very weak to motion buffered reversals. They can usually only beat motion buffered DPs by committing to a preemptive drive impact right after their drive rush. They can beat motion buffered supers with their own supers after the screen freeze. And Guile can also OD flash kick through many supers after the screen freeze. However, Lily can loop into her command grab. Chun-Li and E Honda straight up don't have throw loops, even with Drive Rush. This means you can interrupt them with wake up buttons if they try to throw you again. However, they can still hit you with meaty attacks if they read this, which allows you to perfect parry their meaties. If you have no idea what I mean by motion buffered reversal, I talked about it in my previous video. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you in the next one.